सो ही गाइज वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट हाउ कैन यू सेट कस्टम फॉन्ट्स इन अ पी डी एफ विच विल बी क्रिएटेड यूजिंग एफ पी डी एफ विच इज़ अ पाइथन बेस्ड मॉन्ट्यूल सो वी विल सी दैट हाउ कैन यू सेट कस्टम फॉन्ट्स आउट हेयर फर्स्टली वी विल ओपन आवर वी एस कोड एंड देन वी विल ओपन आवर डिजायर फोल्डर नाउ वट विल आई डू इज आई विल क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट बिकॉज आई I will be installing a PDF too in my virtual environment, not in my system level. So this will take some seconds. Till then, uh, I will tell you one thing that we have used F PDF in our previous video, but in this video we are going to use F PDF two, which is uh, which is the upgraded version of that F PDF. So our our virtual environment is created. Now what we have to do is. let's check for its activation here you can see this pop up that python virtual environment was successfully activated that means you are all set now you have to install your module pip install f pdf2 this will install your module so we are done with the installation now we will just read our file i will name it as test.py test.py just make sure that it is in your root directory yeah this is in my root directory now what will i do is just type out my basic code here before that uh, we need to do one thing we need to download our font that is that will be our custom font go in your browser and search for your required font i will be using poppins font you need ttf file of that that means true type file okay so go in font mirror you can use any website i will be using font mirror and then just simply download any one of this i will be downloading poppins semi bold and 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 okay poppins so our uh, two type file is installed downloaded uh, so this is the file now we will create our basic code firstly we need to import our module from f pdf that is our module import f pdf that is class inside this f pdf and then what you have to do is just simply create your pdf instance and Uh, call this class okay and then what you have to do is now just simply you have to type your firstly we will add a page inside this pdf dot add page this one and then in close by brackets then line change then what you have to do is uh, add a font inside this which is our this particular font which we have downloaded just pdf dot add font add underscore font pdf dot add font uh, you have to set the custom name of the font i will be typing as custom font okay custom font and then comma and you have to uh, define the style here that that means bold or italic bold italic both you have to de uh, define it here now what you have to do is give your path to uh, path to your font file that means here uh, since it is in the same directory so i will just type poppins dot ttf and then unicode equal true unicode equal true okay so now we have to set the font the font which we have just uh, you can see added in this pdf set font set font and then custom font custom font and then what we have to do is size equal 16 we have to define the size here so size is 16 pdf dot cell uh, 
200 and then 20 this is the height and width of the cell then you have to uh, give your message here for this i will say hello this is from fpdf okay and then you have to uh, set for line change ln equal true if you want to change the line then what you have to do is you have to align that i will be aligning it at center align at center okay so we are all done now we have just have to output this or simply you can say create a pdf out of this i will name it as my pdf dot pdf dot pdf if you want a, a message on your console then you can just type print all set and then just save this and run this you can run via terminal also so this is uh, test dot py python test dot py here you can see that my pdf is created and uh, you can see this all set message so yeah guys that's all for this video now let's see you next time